What's up guys, it's February 1st, it's, uh, Saturday today. 14 days away from the drift event and we're just starting to get to uh, fix the 350Z. We're here at LKQ, I'm gonna see if we could grab a quick traction arm and hopefully go put it on. Right now we already have the camber arm. Uh, we got a SPC adjustable camera arm. And unfortunately we couldn't find uh, OEM traction arm in anywhere so we're coming to the junkyard and trying to hopefully find one uh, I was here previously I found two cars already it's the next one I right, found two 350Zs and they had it hopefully they're still here well we just got here to the first 350Z this one's pretty much already completely taken apart um, we're gonna take off the back rim real quick make sure the traction arm is good luckily it does have the tail light that I need and it was already bolted off so that was easy take that see how much they want for it and I'm gonna make sure that traction arm is good all right so when I crashed the car into the wall this arm right here your lateral arm people like to call it radius arm traction arm different names for it we bent it right here also bent the camber arm we got some adjustable camber arms so we don't have to worry about that so that way we can adjust our camber we're just going to start taking this off and start the project at home now it is starting to drizzle here so we have to beat the rain and also beat the rain at home when we start putting it together so we got to do this quickly we won't be able to record as much all right guys so we just got out the junkyard uh just as we were coming out it started pouring so i didn't get to record but we were able to score with the actual arm and the tail light. Well, how much did we end up paying? We paid $23 for the arm, $25 for the tail light, which is actually a very good price. And we managed to pick up a part for a friend of ours. Quick little part of a friend. AC vents for him. But, uh, but yeah, not bad. Paid $67 for everything. I think the best score we got was the tail light for. Well, 25 bucks. 25 bucks. I had somebody selling me it just for $50. So I think $25 is a pretty good deal. Now we're going to go home and hopefully it's not raining and we'll get to put the parts on the car. All right, so we just got here to my place. Um, doesn't look like it's going to rain. It's a little cloudy, but nothing too crazy. Floor is dry, luckily. Um, we'll just go inside, grab the keys and move the cars for a better position because it's a little inclined here. But the car's been parked for a while now i mean i think we even got a flat here yeah look at that been sitting for a little bit um i haven't done anything to the car it's just i've just left it parked i haven't really been able to do anything to it i'll explain a little bit why uh later on maybe at the in the next video when we go to the event all right so for the first time we're gonna take off plastics and see how bad is the damage uh my brother noticed that once we change the suspension component we only have about a quarter inch gap here the quarter panel got squished in pretty good so once this wheel is sitting straight it's going to rub on the quarter panel so somehow we're going to have to try and pull this out about an inch or so for the meantime it's pretty pushed in so let's take a look take it apart see how bad it is all right so we just realized let me see if i can get it to focus floor wrinkled up a little bit got a little wrinkle right here some more back there i don't know if you can tell it's pretty dark in here but it's definitely wrinkled up but luckily we know somebody that will this is an easy job for him and we'll be able to get it fixed still indecisive if i want to keep stock um quarter panel or go with over fenders not too sure yet still got to make up my mind on that but for now, it's going to be staying like this for a little bit until I can get my funds up and get it looking how I want to. All right, so he just took it off and well, I mean, what do you guys think? I think it looks just, just the same. <laughs> Straighten it back out. All right, so we're going to put the new one on and then we'll put the adjustable camera arm. All right, after a short little break, um, we come to find out that the adjustable camera arms are no good. First couple threads on them were stripped. So I had to go three different spots, try and find the OEM um, camber arm and finally found it. But 
Just so you guys can see. I'm not no, it's not letting it focus right there. I'm not sure if you guys can be able to see it, but this is all stripped here. The threads are all stripped out. Seems like somebody was running massive camera on them. Don't everybody use parts. Well, while I was gone, my brother decided to play a little bit with the quarter panel and kind of strained it out. Yo, you're blinding the camera with the light. I do it like this. Kind of um, strained it out a little bit. Let me put this together. But, I mean, there's no fixing this without a proper job being done. But at least we'll be able to clear the tires now. And we're going to finish putting these things on and hopefully take it for a little drive. All right, so we just finished fixing the broken parts. Now, as you can see, we're dropping the car. We're going to go and take it for a little test drive. Yeah. Um, what happened? It's pretty off. Oh, definitely. A lot of hope. All right, so we went for a quick little drive and realized it has a lot, a lot of toes. So we're going to try and adjust a little bit. Um, see if we can get it better. Obviously, we're not going to be able to get a good alignment till we actually get it on the machine, but just for now to be able to transport the car. All right, so we took the car out for a couple of spins, adjusted the toe a little bit. The toe was basically maxed out and we still have a pretty big amount of toe. I don't think it's visible on the camera but I gotta get the car lifted um, and see what's, what else is bent question is will I be able to make it to the drift event hopefully maybe try our hardest but if it's something major for sure we won't be able to hopefully during the week I'll be able to get it lifted and see what's broken but that's gonna be it for today's video um, if you guys have any suggestions, anything I should look over, or any just any ideas for maybe even the channel, just let me know. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll have some more videos coming through. This, I'm out of here.